What's up guys? My name is Michael and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today we're going to do another lead code challenge. Self-dividing numbers. A self-dividing number is a number that is divisible by every digit it contains. For example, 128 is a self-dividing number because 128 mod 1 is equal to 0. 128 mod 2 is equal to 0. 128 mod 8 is equal to 0. So, it is divisible by every number it contains. Every digit it contains. Also, a self-dividing number is not allowed to contain the zero, digit zero. Given a upper and lower bound, I will put every single possible self-dividing number, including the bounds, as possible. This is pretty basic. You guys tr try to do this on your self, on your own, and come back to me when I, when you're done. Okay, try to do this on your own. If you can't figure it out in one or two hours. Then come back to this video. But essentially the algorithm is, is that you're going to go through every number between left and right, inclusive, okay? And you're going to check if it's a self-dividing number. That is, it's divisible by every of its digits, okay? And if it is, then we add it to the array we're returning. And then when we go through from left to right, once we're done with the right one, we just return the array. That's essentially the algorithm. Yeah. That's how you would do it. Come back when you implemented that, and then we'll see you if your solution is like my solution. So, yeah. Okay. So, first, whoa. Hold up, guys. Hold up. My bad. Hold up. Okay. So, first, how do we do this? Well, first, you need to create an array that you got to return. That has all the self-dividing numbers. So this is going to do, so I'll call it two return for now. But yeah, then what do we got to do? We got, well, we got to go through every single value from left. If it's less than, we're including right, so it's that's why it's left and equal to. Go through every value between left and right. And then if is self-dividing, Pass in if whatever value we're checking is self dividing, we're going to add it to return dot pushback i. Then after that, we're going to return to return. Okay, so then that's essentially the algorithm. Now we need to create a method called is self dividing. We're going to pass in a value of i. So how do we check if it's self-dividing? Well, a self-dividing number is a number that is divisible by every single every digit it contains. So first, we need to essentially, um, let me think. How do I say this? Do, 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 do. We have to go through. We have to get every single digit and then mod it. Get every single digit. Mod it, and if it equal, if it doesn't equal to zero, then we return false. Okay, and we're gonna do that for every single digit. So how do we do that? We're gonna do while while i is greater than zero. Okay, we're gonna do i is okay. Okay, how about instead of using i, I'll use an actual number. So let's change i to like num. So that I don't I don't like the variable i. So why i is greater than zero? We're gonna take number and we're going to divide number by ten. So if you divide by ten, so let's say one two eight, you divide by ten, then you get one to twenty eight, twenty eight two yeah. So that gets you. If you were to divide a number by 10, you get this, 1, 2. And that's the remaining. Okay? And now what we want is we want the remainder. We want to mod by 10 to get the last digit. So that we to get 8 and then 2 then 1. So I'm going to take call a number called remainder is going to equal to num mod 10. Okay, so this is going to get the remainder. Now, 
what we need to do is we need to check if the original digit is able to mod by the remainder. And if it's equal to zero, then we continue. If it's not equal to zero, then we return false. Okay. So in order to do this, we need to create another variable. We're going to call this original, and this is going to equal to whatever value we passed in the original number before we went through this while loop. Okay. So uh, let me call this original. All right. Now we're going to check if original mod remainder is not equal to zero. Okay. Then that means we return false. We also have to check or the remainder is equal to zero. Because if the remainder is equal to zero, it's not allowed to contain the digit zero. So we got to return false. All right. This is basically going to go through every single digit in this array if for every number. And then it checks if it divides it, mods it, is equal to zero. Okay. If it doesn't equal to zero, it returns false. After this loop is finished, that means it must have none of that means none of them have returned. It had not returned false, so we're going to return true. Okay. None of them, all of them had been able to divide by mod by zero, uh, mod by remain. So they were all divisible by each digit. Yeah, this is, should work. If it doesn't work, then I don't know. There must have been a compiler or something happened. This is basically how you would do it. Let's see what happens. Runtime error. What is the difference? Divisible division by zero. Oh, hmm. Okay. So you can't do this. We got to do this first. If it's equal to zero, then return. This is the effects of uh. It's called shortcutting, I think. Something called shortcutting where it checks the left side first, then it checks the right side. Okay, so this is working. Now we submit. And it got accepted. So that's basically how you would do this. I don't think there's any other way. Let's see a solution. Oh, yeah. Okay, so there's only brute force. They don't have anything else. That's basically how you would do it. Rate, comment, subscribe. I hope your solution looked something like mine. I'll check you guys later. Peace.